Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a really fun curated video for you guys. Now, uh, to those of you guys who are not familiar, I stopped doing sort of my what's in my mailbox PO haul videos a while back because I just didn't really want to do that kind of format anymore and instead I would just show you things that I'm genuinely excited about. Like yes, I still get sent products but I kind of just pick and choose what I show you. I don't show you everything, like things that just don't excite me. I don't really want to feature them on this channel just to be like, hey, look at me, look at all the stuff I got. If there's any products in here or like brand focuses that you want to see more in detail, like please let me know. And you can also check back on my curated playlist where I have a few other videos like this already. I have been really into sort of lighter foundations like for videos like right now I'm sort of wearing a little bit more of a medium coverage one but um, for my day-to-day -day life like real life not in front of the camera I really like a sort of barely there nude look this is actually something I purchased so this is not um this was not sent to me. This is actually a foundation I've been wanting to try for a really long time, and that is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. And I have the lightest shade, which is N1, which I think is the neutral shade. So it looks like that. So you just like squeeze it out. It's super liquidy. I think it is a water-based ba water foundation because when you shake it, yes, it is water-based. Like you can hear, maybe I'll just shake it right there. Can you hear that? I just basically apply it with my fingers. Sometimes I set it, sometimes I don't set it. It just kind of depends what kind of look I'm in the mood for. It's a really sheer, um, barely there kind of texture. It's like my skin, but better. It's just, it gives you a little bit of coverage, but not a whole lot. So your natural skin still shows through. So it's a really natural looking foundation. I just love it for daily wear. Next up, I was sent a few things by um, Clinique. This is the uh, Christmas Advent Calendar. They have sent this to me um, before. I think, was it last year? I think they sent it to me last year as well. It's the 24 days of Clinique um, advent calendar that they do around the holiday season. I actually ended up taking it with me to Canada and I gave it to my family to open. They just took turns opening the doors. Even my dad got involved. He's like, no, I want to open some doors. So he got some Clinique products too and they really enjoyed this. And it's um, very generous samples in here. What I like about this is also that on the back, so if you're interested in buying this, it says exactly what you get. I feel like if you're going to spend a lot of money on an advent calendar, like a beauty advent calendar, like I want to know what I'm getting. I like a lot of the Clinique products. I have purchased Clinique products on my own. Like I really like some of the their skincare products. In this one, like I'm just looking at it, there is a lot of skincare. There is a few makeup items in here, but there is a lot of skincare in here. So if you're a fan of Clinique skincare, their products, like I have very, very sensitive skin and I have never reacted adversely to a Clinique skincare product. Um, all, their perf all their products as well as their makeup line is unscented, which is something that I really like, especially in skincare. Speaking of advent calendars, I got a couple more actually. Um, by one I got from this is from the body shop and this is so beautiful like look at this amazing packaging 25 days of the enchanted deluxe advent calendar and this one also actually has on the back exactly what you're getting so the front like opens I can't see anything right now let me just um, maybe stand up can you see that it is so beautiful. Each of these things are in little individual boxes and the artwork on here is so pretty. So each of them is like individually wrapped like that. Like there's a little, the sample sizes, like they're pretty generous. Like most of the things in here, um, like there's a 200 milliliter, 60 milliliter, um, 50 milliliter, 30 milliliter. So you're getting like pretty generous amounts. Like it's not just nothing in there. This is actually really cool because I've never seen advent calendars that go beyond Christmas. You know, they're usually like 24, 25 days. Well, this one is the vegan countdown to new year calendar. So this one basically starts, I think on the 25th or 26th and it goes up until the new year. So it's a little bit smaller. It is vegan. So this one is all vegan products, which is really cool. So can you see? So this one is like a star and it's the Happy New Year calendar. So basically after you've finished your other beauty calendars, you can continue on with this one into the year. And this one is all vegan. And also on the back, it says um, what you're getting. And the Body Shop actually sent me also some of their um, holiday collection. Like they always come out with limited edition releases every year that I've 
known them. They've always released three different scents. Berry Bon Bon. So this is like a, a berry scented range. You can see there, there's like berries on the cover, but it's a Bon Bon, like there's candy as well. So it's like a berry candy scent. This is the exfoliating sugar body scrub. You guys, it smells like, it really smells like candy and berry, like a berry candy. It just smells really good. So if you like sweet berry scents, um, you should check out the berry bonbon. This is the um, softening body butter. So it looks like that. Again, that fabulous scent. It's just, oh, it's so good. Peppermint candy cane. So the packaging looks like this. There's um, sort of candy canes on there. I think this is supposed, this is a mistletoe. I'm not quite sure. Um, this is the body butter. It's like a light mint green color. This one is very minty. This is probably not my personal favorite scent, but there's also like a creaminess to it because it's like peppermint candy. So it's not just peppermint. It's like peppermint mixed with like, not vanilla, but just something like peppermint bakery. If you're into peppermint scent, this one is really nice as well. Vanilla marshmallow. And this is just a really beautiful vanilla scent. They, I think they always do some type of vanilla. I know they've done like vanilla chai in the last few years, which is like a vanilla spicy scent. And this one is just like a cakey vanilla scent. Like it's very, I, I feel like it's vanilla, but th there's another sort of note in there. Bubbling bath and, oh, I thought this was a shower gel. Oh, this one, it says it has vanilla extract from Madagascar. Oh, I have to try this. I'm gonna take a bubble bath tonight, I think. I haven't really taken a whole lot of baths yet this year, so I need to catch up on that. All right, and then I got a really cool package from Sephora, Switzerland, and they sent me some things from Hourglass, which is amazing. I've actually purchased Hourglass myself. So this is actually a brand that I have purchased from. It's a very high-end brand. Like it's, I would say it's like really kind of on the level as like Chanel and Dior. Like it's definitely a high-end luxury brand. The products that I purchased from them so far, I feel have been worth it. Like, I don't know, is makeup ever worth it? But I do feel like they perform really well. They sent me um, an ambient lighting powder and this is actually in a shade that I already own. This is dim light. So I'm not going to unbox this because I'm gonna put this into a giveaway. I'm planning on doing a bunch of giveaways in December. This is a highlighter. It's a cream stick highlighter. And this is in Champagne Flash. First I thought this was the, the foundation, but it's like a, it's a cream highlighter it's really really gorgeous actually and the packaging is like really cool it's kind of the same shape as their um foundation stick this is the caution extreme lash mascara i mean the packaging is really really luxe like it's it feels super solid it feels heavy like it feels like metal a nice sort of go-to mascara mineral primer veil so it's just a oil-free primer. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I thought this was a, an eyeliner, just the way it's packaged. Like it's this gold weird packaging, like really pretty luxe packaging, but it's actually one of their refillable lipsticks. I woke up, it says the packaging on the side of a lipstick and apparently these are refillable and this is like a really nice sort of nude, like my lips, but better shade, like a natural color, kind of a nudish, tawny pink or something. An eyeliner in here, and this is the Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. Ooh, it feels really, really creamy. You can now purchase Hourglass exclusively at um, Sephora, Switzerland, if you live in Switzerland. Here in Switzerland, they just came um, to my country, so I'm very excited that now I can purchase their products. Next up, another package that I was really excited about is actually one by NYX Cosmetics. They sent me this entire collection of lip products. Some of these things I'm going to put in the giveaway because this is way too many lip products for me. So I'm gonna put some of the stuff into the giveaway coming in December. Actually, I'm wearing one of those or two of those lip products right now. So the one thing they sent me, the, uh, one of the product ranges they sent me is the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick range. So this is, um, yeah, just a matte, like a new matte uh, texture formula. You can see right away from the packaging what color is inside. It's really cute. Like it's really cute with this heart and then it like opens and that's like the enclosure of it. This is actually the what I'm wearing right now on my lips. Um, this is the shade Girl By. And what I love about these is that they come with the corresponding um, lip pencil. They, so they also sent me the lip pencils. These are the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liners and this is also in the shade Girl By. So you can, like if you're purchasing one of the lipsticks, you will have the perfect lip liner to match. And I'm someone who always, if I, if I go for like a bold color, I always 
need a lip liner with it. It just looks so much neater, like the edge looks more crisp. It prevents like feathering and fading along the edge. So I always am looking for lip liners to match whatever lipstick I'm buying. So they even have like really fun colors like this, this bright purple, I haven't opened that yet. Like I just love how they have unique shades and they don't just, like they have nudes and stuff as well. And then also in that package are a bunch of these um, slip tees, what are these called? The Slip Tease Lip Lacquers. These are just like really full on lip lacquers. They have a more glossy finish, so you could combine those really well um, with the lip liners as well. Fun, bright, bold colors, which I think are awesome for the fall. So I can't wait to actually try those ones out. I haven't tried the lip lacquers, but like I've worn a bunch of the lipsticks already and I really love them. Look at this, such a cool color. That one is called Klinger. Okay, and then I was also sent a few things from Marino Switzerland. Uh, they have the Ro Rodial products exclusively in Switzerland. So if you're looking for Rodial, you need to head over to Marino. These new lip products by Rodial, and these are called the Suede Lips. Intense matte lip colors with vitamin E. So these are also sort of suede finish, like matte finish lip crayons. So they come in a stick format like this. So they come in like a, a pen, like a chubby pencil format like this with just like the tip there. When you just apply them, like they're not, like they have a suede finish, so it's like matte, but it's not a dry matte. It's kind of like a, a satin matte finish. And I love the pencil format. Like it's just so easy to paint these on. Next up, I wanted to show you some of the products from the Kiko Sparkling Holiday Collection. Now I'm not gonna be showing these too much in depth because I'm gonna be doing a dedicated video with these products. They are so gorgeous and they are very affordable to a lot of people. I have purchased these on my own as well. Like actually, I think my love started for these blushes when I bought them myself the first time. Um, are these gorgeous? baked blushes that Kiko releases. I think they do them once or twice a year. Sometimes they do them in the summertime and then sometimes they do them in the winter like holiday collection. Honestly, if you have not tried these blushes by Kiko, I can only tell you these are probably my favorite um, affordable blushes that exist. Like they're not even just my favorite affordable blushes. They are definitely among my very, very favorite blushes of all blushes that I own. I'm not just saying that, like I own a bunch of them. I've purchased a bunch of them. Strike a mauve. And can you see, first of all, these are made in Italy. So it's Italian quality. I feel like a lot of these baked products are made in Italy. Kind of have this chrome look to them. Uh, have There's a little mirror here, actually. It's actually a quite nice size mirror. So you could definitely apply this using this mirror. Like, look at the sheen. What I love about these is that there's no chunky, sparkly stuff in there. There's no chunky glitter. It is just pure, beautiful sheen, but not to the point where it looks like a highlighter. So you can see how that like swatches. There's a lot of pigment to this one in particular. It's like if you have deeper skin, this will definitely show up on your skin. Can you see that flash, that sheen? It is so gorgeous. Like it's not too, too shimmery where, like I said, it looks like a highlighter, but it just has that gorgeous sheen. Morning Star Biscuit. Can you see how gorgeous this is? It's really hard to describe. It's like a champagne neutral peach. And again, it has that gorgeous sheen. This is one of those blushes that kind of goes with anything. This is kind of like, it's this one right here. Um, if you don't kind of know what to do or if you're going for a super bold lip and you don't wanna have like a super bold blush, I would reach for something like this cause it'll kind of go with anything. Look at that sheen. These are just a bargain for the quality you're getting. The pigmentation is really good. The texture is beautiful. Like if this was packaged in like, you know, a different brand, like high-end brand, like people would be going gaga for these blushes just because they're beautiful. And actually they came out with another color and I didn't get that color because I purchased that color last year. Beautiful. And I think this one is out again this year. It's called Dreaming Coral. This is like NARS Orgasm on crack. I, If I had to pick between this one and NARS Orgasm, I would 100% pick this one. It is so beautiful. I don't see a whole lot of hype about these in the English speaking beauty community. A lot of people talk about this in the Italian beauty community. I've seen a lot of Italian people talk about these blushes. Look at this blush. Can you see that? Like how gorgeous, and they're so affordable. A bunch more stuff in here, you guys. Like they did such a beautiful job. Like look at these eyeshadows. It's a freaking snowflake imprint. How beautiful is that? The color is stunning. Well, I think they totally outdid themselves with this holiday collection. 
The star here is already a bit busted, like the snowflake, because I've already swatched this and used it, <laughs> actually. Can you see that? Look at the metallicness on here. This one has a lot of sparkle to it. Can you see? This is like a copper sparkle. This is a, one of their highlighters. The imprint is so beautiful. Like, I think it's so gorgeous. This, I think, might be one of my absolute favorite Kiko collections ever. The lipsticks are packaged so luxe. They have like, look at this. Like this is the lipstick. They have a metallic, look, it like has that, you know, that metallic click. So satisfying. There's a lot of products in here. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a whole video with these products. And then lastly, I got a really nice and super generous package by Fenty Beauty. So Fenty Beauty, you can now get at Sephora Switzerland, which is really awesome. And they sent me a really big package. I actually posted that already on Instagram. So if you wanna see all the stuff they sent me, you can see it on Instagram because they sent me like their new pigments. It was from their holiday collection, the Chill Out collection. I also did actually a look with it. So you can check out my Instagram. My username on there is Hello Julia Graf, and it's the one where I have like the really intense blue eyeshadow. But I just wanted to show you this because this is, I think, one of the standouts from that collection. This is the Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighter Palette. Now, the packaging on here is very cool. Like it's, it just looks like the ice. So this is supposed to be a highlighter palette, but honestly, you could definitely use this for whatever. I feel like this is a very um, multi-purpose product. Like I could definitely use some of these as eyeshadows or especially as eyeshadow toppers. Like these ones, they, like this one looks really boring, right? It just looks like this white thing, but it has a beautiful metallic-y like, turquoisey blue shift to it. So if I was to put this on top, like it probably isn't really gonna show up on my skin tone very well. It has this icy, frosty look. You could definitely use this as um, a highlighter. Just be aware that these ones do have little micro glitter in it. So if you want a highlighter that is just like smooth with no glitter, then this might not be the first one to go for. I would check out their regular kilowatt, like the duos. But this one has like a little bit of sort of Glitter, I guess just for the holidays, they want to have that sparkly look to them. Same with this one. This one has like a, a purpley reflect to it. I think this would just, yeah, be really cool as a topper. And then there's like the shades here. These are just, like this one is really gorgeous. Like this one I would use more as a, as a soft eyeshadow or something, but it would also be absolutely beautiful like this one far absolutely beautiful as a highlighter, especially on darker skin tones, like that would be stunning. But then like this blue, like you're not gonna probably highlight with blue. So I think like you could use that as an eyeshadow. All right, I got a few more things um, from different companies that I actually decided to put into a giveaway pile, not because I don't like them, just because I felt like they were really beautiful gifts. Like they were little gift sets and stuff that they sent me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep those. And then on in December, in the month of December, I'm going to be doing sporadic giveaways um, in my video and on Instagram. So um, follow me on Instagram to, you know, to know in the future about those giveaways. But I think I'm just going to start in December doing little giveaways here and there. I hope this video has been interesting to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and then hit the notification bell right beside the subscribe button and make sure to turn on all your notifications so that you get always updated when I post something. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.